For tens of thousands of Australians living with a disability, the prospect of driving holds the promise of independence. But modifying vehicles for drivers with a disability can cost more than $100,000, and it doesn't always work. One businessman is determined to change all of that so that many more people can get behind the wheel. Social affairs correspondent Norman Hermont met him. Getting on the road takes some extra effort for Paul Craig. It's worth it. For me, I always say that, you know, I started to deal with things and overcome aspects of being in a wheelchair when, when I started to drive again. Paul Craig used to be an elite athlete, a professional cyclist, and in the sport of stair running, a legend. Craig still holds the record for the fastest run to the top of New York's Empire State Building. He won the famous race five times in a row. Ten years ago, he crashed in a cycling race in New Zealand. He now lives with paraplegia. A bit ironic when you consider I'm challenged here getting up a couple of steps when here I'm going up over 1,500 in under 10 minutes. Craig's competitive nature now goes into his business that specializes in getting people with a disability back behind the wheel. We can get a lot of people driving competently and safely again. There's no shortage of people with a disability eager for the opportunity. Sally Barbita lives with dwarfism and also paraplegia. She's learning to drive using a hand-operated accelerator and brake in a van that's a first for Australia, equipped with almost every modification option imaginable. So the hand controls are really comfortable, they're really good. This was Sally Barbita's first time in this van. She passed with flying colours. And you're back on the road again? Yes. Excited it's about that? Very. It's given me um, my independence and it'll be, I get my old life back. Paul Craig is busy showing off his new vehicle and what it can do. Windscreen washer. Beep horn. Vehicle modification is now largely about trial and error. Being able to test all the options at once should save time and money. These occupational therapists are impressed. It'll actually give us a big chance to get clients on the road and driving in the, in the practical sense, whereas in the past we have to guess. If Paul Craig has his way, there'll be plenty more test drives like this one. Norman Hermont, ABC News.